Hey guys, welcome to Manifesting Better. I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in the description box below. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this video, I want to discuss a very trending topic, which has been very trending on my Instagram stories because I was talking about this with a few of my clients. I send them a, like with my monthly, my three monthly clients, I send them tasks, daily tasks to do. So I just send them this question and then I just put up, uh, put this up on my Instagram and I got a lot of questions on it. Intuition while manifesting. What is intuition? How to know if it's actually an intuition and is your intuition always correct? So stick to the end of this video i will also tell you how to differentiate if it's an intuition or not and how we can actually follow this for ourselves so let's start the video by understanding what is intuition intuition usually is a feeling that we have which we don't have any explanation for that tells us to do something now uh, people uh, often will tell you that i had an intuition that this person is uh, good or i had an intuition to go left instead of right when i usually go right or I had an intuition to invest in this business opportunity. And in its own way, it worked out for me. It just gave me great gains. And when I went left instead of right, I found this $100 bill. So where does intuition come into the concept of manifestation? So as Neville Goddard talks about it, whenever you will be living in the end of something, a bridge of events that is based on your beliefs, and I'm paraphrasing, but a bridge of events that would be based on your belief system will happen in the middle, which will take you from this place to the other place. And a lot of times there will be middle parts that you wouldn't know how, but will come and will happen so that you get to that point right now a lot of times the bridge of events consists of some sort of intuitive action now some people like this is different from inspired action but they gel up together so what can be an intuitive action for example like i was giving the example let's say i'm manifesting money right and i am just uh, walking and usually i take the right uh, road to my home and instead of that i take the left road on my home and let's say i by while there i am stuck in traffic and because of that i'm 10 minutes late to my house once i reach my house because i'm 10 minutes late something happens which eventually leads me uh, into a butterfly effect through which i meet a client which helps me get the money that i want that's how intuition comes into place now what can be intuition mistaken for because contrary to popular belief your intuition is not always correct now this is not me saying that intuition in itself as a concept is not correct it just means that intuition can be confused by many things let me give you an example we all have thoughts and we all have had instances where what we think we should do which we felt an intuition for didn't really work out for us right that's more often than not because what we were calling intuition is not actually intuition but an insecurity through which my mind is trying to protect me so one function and one very important function of your mind is that it has a job to protect you and because your mind has a job to protect you it will create some patterns to make sure that you only invest your time effort money into things that it has proof to believe will work out for you and that will give you great benefits and that you will survive through now our mind doesn't care about the happiness aspect of it it cares about the survival aspect of it especially when we have been trying to manifest something that we have had a lot of past issues with and a lot of insecurities with and a lot of pain with our mind will try to protect us right so a lot of times what we are actually calling intuition is just an insecurity that is trying to protect me i will give you an example Let's say there is a guy, his name is Jack, right? Now, let's say Jack is someone who uh, has seen that in his life, uh, the women in his life have been liars. Now, he has seen this with his mom. He has seen this with his sister and he has probably seen this with his second girlfriend that he was involved in that they were liars. Now, because it has happened enough number of times, he and his mind would want to be protected. And in order to be protected, he will automatically create an unconscious belief that women are liars. How that will go forward and let's say he's trying to manifest a specific person, right? But a part of him keeps telling him that, oh, this woman is lying. Even when this girl comes and tells him, oh, I love you, his mind tells him, 
Probably she is lying. What if she is lying? What happens if she is lying about this? What if my friend is lying? What if my co-worker who is also a woman is lying? The issue starts here is that if he considers that his intuition, he will follow that and probably sabotage a relationship which probably is going great. A lot of you must have experienced this on your own. When you are getting into a relationship and the relationship is going good, this is a very common story that happens with clients that they are going through a relationship, it is going good, but then suddenly out of the blue, we have a thought, oh, what if there is a third party? And I shared in one of my videos, a few videos back, I shared how I manifested my relationship. This was me. I was consistently worried about third parties. I consistently used to look for third parties in my life that, oh, what if there is a third party? And because that insecurity was there, the reason that it was there is because my mind has had seen that in previous dynamics, there were third parties involved. So might as well just prepare for a third party right now, because at least I wouldn't be blindsided by it. Even if I would be hurt, at least it would be expected. I wouldn't be caught off guard, right? And my mind doesn't want me to be to be caught off guard because if I'm caught off guard, then I would feel betrayed by my own choices because I'm the one who's investing into this. So if he is manifesting his specific person and let's say the person comes and tells him that I love you and his intuition tells him that you know what, probably this person is lying. The probability is that that's not his intuition, that's his insecurity and his mind trying to protect him, which is telling him that this person is lying, right? So this can come up in different situations too. Let's say you are manifesting money, right? And um, for example, you had a past where uh, your father was into a business and uh, he was cheated by one of his employees. So later down the line, you get an employee and let's say you have some character similar, they have some similar characteristic traits from the person who your father got cheated on from, you will automatically start to have this quote unquote intuition that this person is lying right? And or this person will cheat on me in my business. And you will probably have uh, some sort of action towards it, you will probably act on it. And then later, it might turn into a sabotaging situation. The thing about your actions and your beliefs are they turn into a self fulfilling prophecy. So if I'm assuming this person is lying, I'm going to perceive her that way. I, if I perceive her that way long enough, I will probably start acting that way. My boundaries are that way. I will probably accuse her of it. And eventually it will turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? I will manifest that in some way, shape or form in my mind. And I will see it happening in my world. And then I will tell myself, see, I told you that this person was lying. My mind will tell me, see, you knew this the person was a liar. You trusted her, you did wrong probably should have not uh, trusted this person, probably should have listened to me. And now my intuition is going to get stronger. This insecurity in my mind is going to get stronger and I will keep going on and I will keep on trusting this quote unquote intuition when that's just an insecurity being driven forward. So how to know if it's your insecurity or it's an intuition? Because if we understand the difference between the two, we would be in a good place to be able to understand where it comes from. First, your intuition will never put you down. Now, your intuition will usually not come in the way of you and your success. So when you are going forward and working towards something, for example, if like I was talking about Jack manifesting this person back, probably while he was manifesting this person back and she was coming into her life and things were changing, his intuition wouldn't tell him that this person is not going to be truthful to you or honest with you because he knows that the work that I'm doing is getting this person in my life in some way. Once I know that, I know that this work is going to bring this out. What I am inside is going to come outside in some time at some level in some way, shape or form, right? So eventually the intuition will tell him to trust himself. The intuition will not drive him to act on a fear. That's a very important thing to see because if you are acting on a fear, that's not an intuition. Second thing, your intuition will not force you to chase someone. Now this happens with a lot of people who are manifesting their specific person they have these feelings of missing that person or probably you're feeling lonely or probably you are having some sort of um, emotional attachment towards that situation or you want it faster or there is impatience or there is envy, there is jealousy. And that tells you, what if I just reach out to this person? What if I just bombard their phone with text messages and just stop what is happening? That's me putting myself down because I eventually know it's not going to turn up into something. But because I'm labeling that insecurity as an intuition, I'm just acting on it. Once I act on it, it creates and it just sabotages my life. And eventually I won't be able to trust my intuition when it actually is one. Third, you will probably connect intuition when you're looking backwards. So you will probably be able to look back and say, I did not know why I did that. 
but that gave me this benefit. So just like the example of the road, I turned left. I did not know why there wasn't a particular reason. I just felt like it, right? And I did not see what outcome I could get from it. I just felt like it. And that gave me this. That is how intuition usually feels. It's something that will tell you, empower you, make you stronger and wouldn't be usually attached to an end thing. It wouldn't be that, oh, if I just follow this action, maybe I will find my money there. That wouldn't be intuition. The intuition will end on, maybe I should just go left. That's how it goes. Um, there is this like movie, Harry Potter. I don't remember which part where he drinks this potion, right? And after he drinks this potion, he just says, I don't know why I like, I, sh I think I should go to Hagrid's. I just think I should go there. He does not have a reason on why he should go there. He just thinks that he has to. And once he reaches there, he reaches that place. He receives some benefits from it. I don't fully remember the movie. I will watch it again. But that's how intuition actually feels like. You just have this feeling that you want to do something. And it's not towards directed towards an end outcome. It's just something that you want to do. And you do it and you receive some result out of it. Another point. Manipulation isn't intuition. Now, if I am doing something where in my mind that is curated towards changing a circumstance in a certain way, that's not intuition, that's manipulation. If I am saying that, you know, if I just, if I just go to the same gym as my specific person, maybe I will have a better chance of running into them. That's not intuition. That's coming from a desperate state where you're trying to manufacture circumstances. That's not something that will help you. So keeping these, these things in mind moving forward will absolutely be helpful into distinguishing what is intuition and what is not. And if you have any more questions in relation to it, leave them down in the comments below. I will try to get back to all of you either in a video or on a post somewhere. Also, if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, a lot of people were asking me, then it's uh, it's for free. The link is in my bio or you can just type uh, www.manifestingbetter.com and you can sign up for the newsletter there. I send out a newsletter every Friday. So I will see you guys in the next video and hope you have a good day. Click the like button if you like the video. Subscribe and turn the notifications on for more such content. Comment down your video suggestions and I will see you guys in the next one.